YouTube because of Kobe here. So we're diving into some Just Trey for you. This song is called Nightmare. We got a music video with it. Very excited to check this out. We also still have more from the Confederate Underdog album to cover as well. We got lots of songs by Just Trey to get into. So we have no shortage of that, right? And I'm always excited to check out a music video. His music videos got awesome vibes inside of them. Very well edited, a lot of energy, very creative. Just Trey is very creative, and I appreciate his art a whole lot. I love watching his journey. I appreciate you guys tuning in and hanging out with me and enjoying his music as well. As a independent artist it's very hard to get your art out there and i like to help these boys out when it comes to getting some newer faces seeing their art and seeing their music it really means a lot to me to be able to do that for them because i think that they're all extremely talented there is a lot to offer when it comes to independent art much more than mainstream in my opinion i've said that a hundred times on here now so creek squad thank you guys for tuning in if you guys are new here subscribe for me we talk about mental health addiction world issues everything in between break down all the lyrics instrumentation music videos whole nine yards on here i try to catch as many bars as possible for you guys i really like talking about the amazing wordplay and the topics of the songs and relating it to our own lives if you struggle with mental health or addiction please go get yourself some help you can live a better life as somebody who pulled myself out of bad alcoholism and hard drug addiction i can promise you that life can get better and you can fix those problems you have going on and then you can spend your time encouraging other people to do the same thing and help other people pull themselves out of their struggles as well provide inspiration for others that's the important thing at the end of the day and that's why we get on here so we're gonna get into this for you i'm vacasa kavi a reaction video a day keeps the doctor away fuck those apples we got just trey with nightmare <laughs> Write on stone, paint the slabs with. Quit rapping. Mm, don't need the paper to write on stone the slabs with. Okay. <laughs> okay, and this is like a slow boom bappy kind of vibe, like beat, like bizarre kind of shit, right? I like that. I like, it's like smoky and slowed down. That's another way to describe it as well. I like that. I like that the cadence is slow and that the beat is menacing and sort of spacey and eerie. It's got a nice quality. I understand why he filmed the video where he did and in black and white now as well. It's very fitting. I'm back, bitch. Not too average. Don't need the paper to write on stone, paint the slabs with. Quit rapping. I'm not a has been. Hear the conversations, have them barely hanging asterisk. <laughs> Ain't that a bitch? Wow. He said, quit rapping. I'm not a has been. Whew. What he said after that was awesome. With quit rapping. I'm not a has been. Hear the conversations. How I'm barely hanging. Asterisk. <laughs> Hear the conversations. How I'm barely hanging. Asterisk. Mm. Mm. An asterisk gets put beside a wind that's tainted. On a sports card, right? Wow. Okay. Okay. It's like a, it's almost like an undecisive win, is what an asterisk represents. Wow. That's, that's really creative. I like that you said it like that. That's cool as fuck. Right on stone, paint the slabs with. Quit rapping. I'm not a has been. Hear the conversations, how I'm barely hanging. Asterisk. <laughs> Ain't that a bitch? I built a longer list. Line these fucking haters up like bulletins, highlight with pins. Man. He's lining the haters up. That's a common theme here with Just Trey. Them haters, man, they be out of control. 
And sometimes you get shit said to you that's just unbelievable. I've had some unbelievable things said to me. I've been told to off myself. I've been told that my family should be ashamed of me. <laughs> I like the fucking things that some people will say to you online. You just have to develop thick skin and not give a fuck anymore. Like, you really can't give a fuck when it comes to putting yourself out there on the internet because people are gonna fucking say something. Just sure is perfect at responding to it. He's very well versed at it at this point and he just has a lot of creative ways to tell them what he's going to do and how he's gonna handle himself. <laughs> Hanging asterisk huh, Ain't that a bitch I built a longer list Line these fucking haters up like bulletins Highlight with pins But it depends Do they know common sense? Lord forgive me What I'm about to do I'm about to make a cleanse Rinse and repeat Cleaning out Oh, he said Lord forgive me For what I'm about to do I'm about to make a cleanse Rinse, repeat <sighs> Hey the Lord has been known to lash out some wrath himself, so don't feel bad, buddy. <laughs> We're made in that image. We're liable to do it, too. Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> it's all perspective, man. Wounds, little salt, no pepper. Whiskey old school. Oh, that drop a few droplets. I've been mixing, drinking, and smoking. You head dreaming and loosen. This ain't no ghost clogging up your view. Look Ooh. at my pew. Bench forever sold. Dreaming and lucid. This ain't no ghost clogging up your view. Is that what he just said right there? Oh, man. This is creative. He's speeding the flow up now. He started out with that real slow, eerie. Now he's getting into the more bouncy, rolly kind of cadence now. Cleaning out the wounds. Little salt, no pepper. Whiskey old school. Had to drop a few Whiskey droplets. I've been mixing, school. drinking, and smoking. You head dreaming and lucid. This ain't no ghost clogging up your view. Wow. Look at my pew. Bench forever sold. I grabbed this pencil oh. to let us out. Let's be painted. So I'm walking with... Look at my pew. It's forever sewed. Wow. <sighs> Just when you're like, what's this person gonna say next? These artists will surprise the fuck out of you with bars, man. I love it. I lo He's tying faith into this, but in a very aggressive manner. Like, basically saying... I'm blessed to leave me alone and let me be blessed almost. <laughs> like, I earned this. I worked for this. I've had faith and I never gave up. I've always believed that God had something bigger for me. And now I'm here. So quit talking your shit. That's what he's getting at with the wordplay in this. I love it. This is really good. Look at my pew, bench forever sold. I grabbed this pencil with the letter sign, let's be painted. So I'm walking without a leash down the aisle without a collar on. Take off my belt, you say by the Bible, bell screeching out for heaven. Run from a you say by the Bible, bell, man. Damn. Hold on. He's snapping now. He's really saying a lot here. Look at my pew, bench forever sold. I grabbed this pencil, the letter sign, let's be painted. So I'm walking without a leash down the aisle without a collar on. Take off my belt, you say by the Bible, bell screeching out. Walking, he's walking down the aisle without a leash. He took the collar off. He said, Wow. <sighs> If I'm walking without a leash down the aisle without a collar on Take off my belt, you say by the Bible, bell screeching out for hell Never run from a nightmare Bitch, I'm standing right here Told myself how to fight fear You gon' get what you reapin', better listen, this is my year Never run Oh, wow He said he welcomes the nightmare and invites the fear you better listen, because this is fucking my year. Wow. Josh Trey is on it with this one. He's reminding everyone that's talking shit and doubting where he stands. And it's like, I don't know how you can deny success when it's right in front of your face. I mean, look at all the positive comments. There's a 
let's see here. There's 137 comments on this video alone in less than 24 hours. And I can guarantee you if I clicked on those and went through them, they would all be telling him that his pen game levels up every song and he's doing fantastic. Because that's what they always say. <laughs> How can you deny that, right? Sometimes you just gotta remind the people that want to tell you that you shouldn't be doing, which I don't know why people that aren't doing anything feel the need to tell other people not to do things. Like, you can't even fucking do something for yourself. Shut up. Bitch, <laughs> for heaven. Run from a nightmare. Tunnel, holding too tight, never lost a grip on that steering wheel, swinging to the right. Wow. Read what I write, keep my mind at peace, crochet a dollar bill to keep me warm to make my ends meet. That wow, he said he's writing and keeping his mind at peace, and it's turn it's turning into the womb for what's gonna make his ends meet. I think is how he worded that, which is fucking brilliant. That is a great bar. Wow. This is bars right here. Like I said, the pen game levels up with all the songs that he puts out. Always. He's always leveling up with his pen game. If I can get this to pull itself back a little bit here. There we go. Holding too tight. Never lost a grip on that steering wheel swinging to the right. Yeah. Thread what I write. Keep my mind at peace. Crochet a dollar bill to keep me warm to make my ends meet. That's two for one, my rain, family's best me. friend yeah. Clarence was hanging up yellow signs without the food stamps Let's stamp it in, make it official, officially pouring water into milk without a helping hand no Man, wow Stretching the milk with water, he's telling you where he came from now Wow, the yellow signs and the food stamps Pouring water into the milk jug to stretch it Wow, this is very specific, and I appreciate that. I love the specificness of it. It's very relatable to being in difficult times and not having a lot in very many moments of your life. Wow, he's starting to get deep now. Stamps, let's stamp it in. Make it official, officially pouring water into milk without a helping hand. No name brand, cause we was good willing and dealing And sometimes me and my brother wore the same pants No food for thoughts, at least we had a We were good willing and dealing And sometimes me and my brother wore the same pants He says, that's the struggle right there Tell your story, man Tell these haters where you came from I respect the fuck out of this bag I like when he gets into this one. He's just a thought was another one where he got really deep into this type of stuff right here. That was actually, I think, the first one I ever reacted to on here was just a thought. He's getting into that kind of bag with this. I like when he gets into this one. Bed. Fuck that, we share that too, making pallets in the living room. Open up the oven to keep us warm in the winter too. The fuck I fucking look like money grabbing just to get a view. If it wasn't for music, I'd be running out to get some food so my family don't starve. Now they watch me from their living rooms. Man, he said they were using the oven for heat when it was cold. He said... Don't think that this rapping is just a cash grab to get some views. He said the reason that I'm doing this is so that I can fucking provide. That's what he's saying. And then he says if I wasn't rapping, I would still be running out to try to get some food. But now instead, they're all watching me from their living room. Talk your shit. <laughs> His bars are so well written that I cannot memorize them <laughs> for the most part when he runs along like that. I can remember everything because he writes is so structured and so well that 
it just sits inside of your brain instantly. It's so strong and powerful the way that he words it and tells the story. I really like that aspect a lot as well. When it comes to his approach specifically, I love that aspect of it. This is deep as hell. Deep as hell right here. Talk your shit. Tell them where you were, why you do what you do. And now they're all watching you from their living rooms, man. And that, in, that includes the people that he's providing for as well that are proud of him and everything like that. It's, it's like a kind of a double. It's a shout out to the people that are supporting. And it's a you're obsessed with me and cyber gang stalking me to the haters, right? <laughs> Either way, they're still putting you on their screen, right? They're, they're using their screen time on you even just to talk shit, which is just a, it's a moral short-selling on your own part, to be completely honest. Like, you could be doing something with yourself and getting somewhere better for yourself, but instead you're looking at somebody that has done better for their self and telling them to stop doing it. What the hell is that? You're selling yourself short and wasting your own time at that point. It, I don't know. Some people's brains work in backwards motion. <laughs> Enough to get some food so my family don't starve Now they watch me from their living rooms Underneath the rain of ground left Digging deeper six feet Tears were left Hear that Bible wow. bell inside my own chest That's the reason I got heart pain to paint the rest Never run from a nightmare He said hear that Bible bell in my own chest He said mm. <sighs> Damn man that is beautifully written right there. I like it. I like that bar. That Bible bell inside my own chest. That's the reason I got heart pain to paint the rest. Never run from a nightmare. That's the reason I got heart pain to paint the rest. Sheesh. Bars, man. man. Bitch, I'm standing right here. Right here. Taught myself how to fight fear. Fight fear. You gon' get what you weeping. Better listen. This is my year. Never run from a nightmare. you reap and better listen this is my year he's saying all of that negativity that you're trying to throw at me to stop me from chasing this dream is going to return to you factual a lot of people don't want to believe that that's how it works but goes beyond the physical with that one some people ain't ready for that just Trey knows that he knows, <laughs> and we know. All you guys know as well. <laughs> Hell yeah. Fucking dope right here. This was a good one. I enjoyed this song a lot. Very nice. Very deep in a lot of spots. That Truth or Dare is a good one, too. We didn't react to that one, but I listened to it when it came out. And I enjoyed it a whole, whole lot. That's a good one. But, yeah. <clears throat> At the end of the day, you're wasting your time trying to tear him down. And he just told you all exactly why. And he told you where he came from and why he's not going to quit all at the same time. And, I mean, at this point, it would be a shame if anybody, if he were, if, like, an artist like Just Trey were to ever let anybody with a negative opinion to stop them, it would be a damn shame, because the proof is in the pudding, all you have to do is go to this video and click on the fucking comments and see how successful the operation is. Why would you quit on something like that just because some loser on the internet has something fucking stupid to say to you? Like, it's pointless. And it's pointless on their end, too, as I said 
earlier in the video, it's a waste of time to fucking put your energy into that. Like, go build something, right? It doesn't even have to be, like, a technical something, like a car or, like, anything like that or a house. Just... Go create something better in your life than talking shit to artists on the internet. Like, I don't get it. I don't get where all the hate comes into play with all of this shit. People just acting hateful towards each other. People acting hateful towards reaction channels for liking artists and stuff like that, too. That's a fucking issue right now, apparently. I see... So many people get attacked just for liking certain artists. And then you look in the comment section and it's wild. It's like, bro, it's fucking music. Shut up and let it be listened to. And if they say they don't like it, don't get mad that they don't like it either. Like, I don't get it. I really don't get it. <laughs> it's just a bunch of negative energy when you could be being more productive with yourself and Fucking putting something out that's inspiring. Like this. Telling everybody why they should stop trying to stop you. That's the best approach. <laughs> like, reminding them where you came from. Reminding them why your drive is what it is. And that's what we got with this song. I like songs like this. They're important. And it needs to be said more often by more artists. To be completely honest. More, pe more artists... In the industry need to talk about this and do it in this sort of fashion where he tells his story and inspires you to never give up at the same time brilliant approach i like this one this was awesome just trey great job brother you did great on this one i enjoyed it original video in the description as always subscribe to just trey support the artists we have on the channel especially the independent ones they work their asses off they do a lot it's doing the job of multiple people whenever it comes to releasing independent art so i appreciate you guys tuning in support all the artists we have on the channel go get help if you need it live your best life don't be one of them people on the internet telling people not to chase their dreams. I know all of you guys are already better than that, so we don't have to worry about that. I love you guys. I'm Vikasa Kavi. A reaction video a day keeps the doctor away. Fuck those apples. Leave a like for me. Comment those suggestions. Subscribe up this way. Bang the notification bell for me. I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you so much. Thank you for everything. We got a good one coming up next. Peace.